Over the years, our family's had a share of health problems. So prescriptions are a part of our life. Before we went to the big box store. We both thought it would help us save. But with the long lines and impersonal service, filling prescriptions became a chore. That's when a friend recommended DNH. Now Tristan knows our prescriptions. Brenda always helps us find the right vitamins. And after Dad's fall, Monica's been a real expert with all our home medical needs, all without the lines. Trust and service. That's our DNH. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on the day after Valentine's Day. I hope you had a good one. It's uh, Wednesday, February the 15th. And this is Heart Month. Yesterday, Valentine's Day. Today, we talk about keeping our hearts healthy. We have Jessica Ellis with us, Central Missouri Dietetic Association. Hi. Good to have you here. Good and you've here. got uh, some good information about uh, heart healthy, uh, heart healthy ways to mm -hmm. keep going. Yeah. Um, since it's Heart Health Month, uh, you want to be following the My Plate. So making sure half your the uh, what? My Plate it replaces the food pyramid. Okay. So following. Oh, that's right. Yeah. We don't have the food pyramid anymore. Yeah, I got, just got rid of it. So we're making it easier to understand now. Doing half your plate fruits and veggies. So those are going to have lots of heart healthy fiber. Going to keep you feeling full. Help with cholesterol. And then making half your plate or a quarter of your plate a lean protein. Mm -hmm. and making sure you're getting those servings of fish in because those are going to have the omega-3s, again, for heart health. Yeah. So, And then another quarter of it is our whole grains, again, having lots of fiber, vitamins, minerals to keep our heart healthy. Okay. Now, do potatoes fall in that uh, vegetable category? Or are potatoes a little too starchy? For... Potatoes are called, um, they're a vegetable, but they fall into the grain category because they're starchy. Okay. Now, they, they are good for us. Unlike, you know, a lot of places are getting rid of potatoes and saying, oh, they're so bad for you. But they have a lot of heart-healthy potassium in there. That's potatoes gonna, do. Yeah. It, well, now, when I make mashed potatoes, I keep the skin on. Mm -hmm. is, that, is it better to keep the skin on, or does it make any difference? It is, because that's where a lot of the fiber is. Um, that's going to help with lowering cholesterol and keeping you feeling full. So if you want to have mashed potatoes or you want to have baked potatoes, mm -hmm. eat the skin. Eat the skin, yes. Okay. What about do uh, sweet potatoes fall in that same category or are they a little different? They have a lot more fiber, don't they? They have a lot of fiber in them and they have some extra vitamins and minerals that you're not getting from regular potatoes. But they're still starchy, so they're still part of that grain and starch group. Mm -hmm. And what about uh, eating pasta? Is it a quarter of uh, potato? plate there too. Mm -hmm. It's still a quarter of your plate and you want to choose whole grain pasta when you can. Okay. All right. <laughs> so half of your plate should be vegetables. Mm -hmm. A fourth of the plate should be lean. Lean meat. Meat or fish. Fish. Yeah. And then the other quarter is uh, the starch. Product. The starch. Yeah. Okay. Anything else that you want to mention as far as heart healthy uh, tips? Well, make sure you're getting your cholesterol checked regularly with your doctor and knowing your numbers, and that'll make sure that you know your risks for heart disease. Mm -hmm. so. And exercise. And exercise as well. Now, uh, studies have come out. It used to be that you had to do uh, a half an hour of intense exercise without a break. Now they're saying, and that was every three days, mm -hmm. right? Now they're saying, well, you don't have to do it uh, half an hour straight or 20 minutes straight. You can do it in 10-minute increments. Yeah, studies have shown that three 10-minute sessions are just as beneficial as doing it all at once. So for people that maybe are, have a really busy schedule, you know, break it up. Do some in the morning before you go to work. Take a 10-minute walk on your lunch break and then do 10 minutes when you get home. Is walking the best exercise you can do? It's one of the best ways to get started. Extra, walking mm -hmm. and swimming. Swimming, even it's just as good. Sw is, are are better. Even be it, because yeah. with swimming, you're using your. You're arms, using you're more using muscles. Everything. You're getting going. Okay. So, yeah. If people want more information on this, what can they do, Jessica? They can go to the Hyvee's website, www.hyvee.com, uh -huh. or they can um, contact me directly. Okay. Or the Central Missouri Dietetic. Or Central so, Missouri. So, yep. Or uh, actually, you can just Google. You can also Google uh, heart healthy tips, and mm -hmm. they'll come up. Yep. All right. Happy belated Valentine's Day to you, and happy Heart Healthy Month to Same you. Same to you. Thank you. Jessica Ellis, Central Missouri Dietetic Association. Now I turn to our friend Georgia Swoboda. Swoboda, you Georgia got Swoboda, it. which means, the last name means what? Freedom. Freedom. Uh -huh. It's a Slavic word. All yeah. Russia, all of those countries use it. Yeah, well, you knew that, but Pat Aker is our audio guy. That's he, right. He I was so shocked. 
So Georgia Swoboda, which means freedom, big brothers, big sisters of central Missouri. You want to tell us a little bit about your organization? Yeah, I have another way of making our hearts better. is to work with kids. Yeah, that's a, and, good, that's a good tip. Yeah, and we're always looking for mentors. That will always be my story, I believe, because there are always more at-risk kids. In fact, in, you know, 43% of our kids are considered at risk now. And 43%? 43%. And they're falling behind well, in how school. Do you, how, how does a kid fall into the at-risk category? Well, that's a general number, but when it, it's broken down, it's the number that's usually on free and reduced lunches, not meeting those, all of those kids. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a low-income kid can make A's. And a high-income kid can make these, mm -hmm. you know, but an average. We're taking an average. And that's in Columbia Public Schools. That's hard to believe. It really is. It really 40, is. You're saying 43% of the kids that are in the Columbia Public School System are at-risk kids. Right. And I would imagine it's pretty much the same in Jefferson City or Moberly uh, or anywhere. Well, I, I work in Moberly and I work in Mexico. And those numbers are higher. higher. I can't really, I can't really quote them, but they're higher. Mm -hmm. So what do we do to change that? Well, there are many methods. You know, uh, churches are have have programs, schools have programs, and after school programs, and then you know, there's agencies that have, like Columbia Housing Authority has an after school program. You know, to work with kids, and they're all very positive, um, but. We at Big Brothers Big Sisters uh, recognize that one mentor, one adult, and a child together in activities can produce really positive effects. And um, research has shown that, that kids uh, stay off drugs, um, better grades, um, all kinds. They get along with their parents, you know, even better mm -hmm. <laughs> when they have a mentor and just an extra friend. Mm -hmm. And, and we have mentors in the schools that are helping with academics. Now, the kids that are in Big Brothers Big Sisters are not necessarily one-parent kids, right? Well, they're in our community. We have two programs, one where you can take the kid out in the community and do things with them, and one in the schools. In the community, they're all either children of single parents, children of incarcerated parents, or foster children. Mm -hmm. So pretty much you know, one parent's, you know. In the schools, whoever this teacher recommends, and uh, we'll take them, and that's that's up to the schools. Yeah. And um, but what we found, uh, the university did some research on us a couple of years ago, uh, school-based program, and because we had a grant, and we had right, to have right. some real research, and they um, they told us to improve five percent in math, reading, and writing, and decrease truancy by ten percent. Our kids scored 28% 20, wow. in reading, you know, 19 So they did much better, much better. Oh, For more yeah. information, how can people help? Phone number? 874-36770. Okay. Georgia Lou, thank you so much for thank coming you. by. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, Voluntary Action Center and the Columbia Fire Department show directed by Travis McMillan. Audio is Pat Akers. Our floor director, Danny Madison. Our assistant producer, guest coordinator, Uncle James. Bye-bye.